flip from the end to the outside. So this is the these are which are made for a three inch uh simple driver. You can see it's this driver. You can see that enormous voice coil and that quite a big surround for a three inch, I mean it's almost one inch of exertion, so max exertion of course. It's kind of driver. You do your magnets and yeah. This is gonna be pretty big. As you can see, it's fold a lot because it's quite a uh, quite a long uh, pipe. I must say I'm not really happy with the verse bolts of this box, probably not as you can see mm. yeah I can see it's a little bit lumpy, I need to get the uh, low pass filter I need to cross it at around 100 Hz I would say and uh, with a uh, uh, second order filter it will do it so, and as you can see, this is the response. This is 40 hertz, not too loud. This is, by the way, is in corner loaded. So, corner loaded should hit pretty well for a fringe driver, anyway. Uh, yeah, it's a lot less uh, in. Uh, all space. So. Then that was the box I designed uh, before. And yeah, that that's a uh, transmission line. But I mean, uh, I've made the transmission line before, and that horn is it's maybe more fun. But obviously, it's not it's not proven this design. Not not at all no idea if it will ever work I mean it looks it looks quite good not bad really but it's big it's really big for a fringe driver and it's not really that efficient uh, yeah so yeah maybe you guys can give your opinion about this but does it look good to you does is the response good enough I mean it does not look that good but yeah, it's the best I can get out of this uh, little driver. It's not, yeah, not not the best for tapped horns, but it would be uh, fun to make a tapped horn for this driver. So thanks for watching, and yeah, won't be doing much. Uh, so if I will build it, it will build. It will be built in about a month or something like that don't have enough time lately so uh, thanks for watching